Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda. Happy Monday, everyone. Let's get into this week. Before we get started, let me tell my followers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I've been reading your messages. Um, I've been reading your stories, some good, some bad. Um, but just thank you all for being so supportive and loving to see y'all auntie happy and thriving and you know, just really doing this thing uh, out here in this dating world. <laughs> um, so I finally revealed this face, y'all. So um, all of this on my Instagram. But anyway, and um, if you don't know my Instagram, it's only one PPG. But thank you all for all of your warm wishes and just all of your positivity. Um, this morning when I was in my group, I basically put up a post and... I, I just wanted to encourage some of my ladies because I have 10,000 ladies in there. And it's a lot of ladies who have been in the dating market for a very long time. I was not in the dating market for a very long time. And I know most people don't find their person on the first go round. That's not the norm. But, you know, that's kind of what happened with me. But I know that's not the norm for most people. But I just wanted to explain to them, like, you know, because I got a phone call this morning. Um, and the phone call was basically like, so do you just not see red flags? Like when you deal with people and I said, well, I don't really choose to call it red flags. I see flaws when I deal with people, but what I understand is that all humans have flaws. You just have to know if the flaws that you see are flaws that you can actually deal with or flaws that you absolutely can't deal with, you know, but, um, I wanted to just encourage the ladies in my group this morning and let them know that like when I approach things, one, I don't, I'm not an overthinker. Um, two, I don't have a negative mindset when it comes to men, love, and relationships. And I honestly believe because I have not been tainted in that way that when I approach situations, I approach it from a positive perspective and I get a positive outcome. That's just what I believe, right? So I don't walk around feeling afraid to love somebody because I'm gonna get messed over. I don't walk around feeling um, that somebody's gonna use me. I don't, walk, I don't walk in fear, period, when it comes down to people and relationships. What I do is I walk in love, I walk by faith, and I give people what I expect in return. In other words, I go in head first, day one. I think I did a video on it as if I already got the job and I go in and giving 110% on day one. In other words, I don't want to send a representative. I want you to see who I am. And this is pr pretty much me and what you're going to get. Either you like it or either you don't like it. And it's neither here, or, you know, it's neither here or there. So that was just basically my advice because I think sometimes People have been so um, hurt or they have this disdain about themselves when it comes down to dating and relationships. They don't realize how negative they are and they don't realize how guarded they are. And when they go into stuff, the people that they're dealing with, they can sense it. They can feel it. But when you go into things with a pure heart, an open heart, and um, just a willingness to, to want to do this thing, called dating and do it the right way, I think the other person can kind of perceive it. Um, and I'm not saying, you know, people are doing it right or wrong or anything like that. I'm just speaking from my perspective. So I just want to tell you, change your mindset, become more positive and stop walking in fear. Like I look at things like I'm covered. Like it ain't nothing you could do to hurt me. It ain't nothing you could do. If you think you messing over me, you would never ever mess over me. Now you might mess over the God in me, because anything that I do for you is because of the God in me. So one thing about God, the one that I serve, my God, when my God gives you the gift of Sharonda, if you don't take care of the gift of Sharonda, he will remove it from you. It's just that simple. So I ain't, I ain't necessarily afraid to leave you where you got me fucked up at either. Yep, and I said all that in one sentence. The God giving the gift of Sharonda and... Sharonda don't mind leaving you right when you have her fucked up head. <laughs> Say about the same. But my God understand me and he understand how I operate. So, you know, I don't feel no type of way about that either. 
we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into it but you know i wish y'all well you know with y'all search you know i take it one i'm taking this thing one day at a time but i am definitely enjoying the journey so uh we made our goal we met goal for the wop sales we moved 500 packs of wop 500 packs of wop we moved it we met goal for that right we have not met goal for how to squirt April showers. We're at 382. The goal for the month is 500. The goal is to teach 500 women how to squirt. So far, I've taught 382 women how to squirt this month, right? So, um, one trick I want to show you right quick while I have my little glass toy. The G-spot is not all the way in the vaginal vaginal canal. It's not deep in there. It's right there at the entrance, right there. You see that, how they went in there, right there? That's where it's at. When you get the pushing and going in too far, you went too far. It's right there as soon as you enter it. That's why men with short shafts, they stimulate the G-spot very, very well because they're hitting up against it because they shaft is short. So I wanted to point that out right there as soon as you enter that's what a G-spot is. You do not need to be thrusting deep. You're going to pass it up every time. A lot of men don't understand that. When, when women are trying to tell them, they feel like deeper is better. Deeper is better for some things, but not for G-spot stimulation, okay? Um, I got all kinds of stuff going on. I had a young man that sent me a message that he had ate his old lady ass for the first time, and now he is sick. So my doctor saw the um, post and she stepped in and contacted me and was like, get his symptoms. He gave me the symptoms and she basically then told him that he got a virus and he needs to go to the clinic and um, get that checked out. And we're not saying that you got the virus from eating ass, but what we are saying is whenever you do decide to eat ass, you want to make sure that that area is clean because uh, the anal canal, the anal area it holds a lot of bacteria. So when you are doing that, you just want to make sure the person that you're dealing with is really, really clean. And the only way you know is if they, you know, bathe or shower or whatever right before. That's the only way that you can be absolutely safe. Or you can use some dental dam to cover that particular area up and that way no bacteria is transferred to your mouth. Okay. Um, new product, skins. All right. They sent me the skins lubricant. Um... I'm still trying them out because they sent so many different ones, but I personally am a silicone girl, so that means I'm going to like the purple one. That is the one that you are going to apply one time. You're going to be able to use it throughout the duration of sex, and uh, in order to get it off of your skin, you got to use hot, warm soap or water or warm, hot bath. That's the only way you're going to get rid of silicone lube. Then there's another lube that is a tingling lube, so this one has an arousal component to it and a lubricant. So this one is a tingling. And then we have the traditional water base that is uh, very similar to the woman's natural body fluids. This one is cool too, but I love silicone lube because I like to glide on the dick. Like even when I'm sucking the dick, I like to glide. Even when I'm riding the dick, I like to feel like I'm gliding up and down on it. Like I don't like all of that tearing and all of that kind of shit. That's me personally. I know some people don't like lube because they like that rough feeling and all of this. Auntie don't like all that. I be trying to take care of my pussy. I ain't trying to have all toe up and all this kind of stuff. Nope, 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 nope. No. We ain't got no problems. We ain't about to create no problems with no tearing. Because what I know is tearing can lead to infection. Because now you got open cuts. And infection can lead to all kind of other stuff. So, nope, no tearing. So, I advocate for lubricant. Lubricant is your friend. Skins also has flavored lubricant. Of course, we have the traditional strawberry. And then we have the mango and passion fruit. Uh, and last, we have watermelon. So, for the flavored lubricants, these are the flavors over here. And these are all going to be water-based, okay? All the flavored lubricants are water-based. I'm cool with flavored lubricants. They are cool. I, I like them for oral. But ain't nothing like silicone lube to me. I will suck dick all day with a good silicone lube. Because, like I said, I like to be able to glide. I like the way the silicone lube fill on my lips. It's almost like a um, almost like a lip, not a lip chop. Because lip chop sometimes just depends. Like a lip gloss. It's almost like a lip gloss on my lips. Like you literally sliding and gliding up and down on their dick with it in your mouth with this silicone loop. So, you know, to each his own, but I'm just telling you the way that auntie like it. Um, 
If you have not downloaded April Showers or How to Squirt, do so at this time so that we can meet our goal. We are almost there. I'm always talking about squirting. Um, and every time I talk about it, the ladies be like, oh, teach me how. You need to show me. And then when I send them the link, y'all don't go click the link. And it's like, y'all want stuff. Y'all want information. Y'all want knowledge, but you're not willing to invest in yourselves. Yes, like men like to see that shit. Like they like to see that shit come up out of you. Like that shit is amazing to them. So, you know, one thing about it, sex is mental. You know, you're trying to captivate your man mind or you're trying to do something different. I have not met one man, and I ain't had, I ain't can fuck men, okay? But the few that I have fucked, when this pussy get to squirting and that shit get to running all down their nuts sack, they love that shit. And I'm talking about being able to squirt with the dick inside of you. I'm not talking about being able to do it with your rolls or your toy. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about for him to be able to put his finger in you and he can stimulate you and make you squirt to where he can see it. For him to actually penetrate you with his dick or my penis owners, ladies who have strap-ons and stuff like that, and them to penetrate you and actually see you do it. But ain't nothing like, you know, a real dick and it's in you and they can see you do it and feel you doing it and they can feel it coming out all over them. Man, that shit is priceless. It's priceless. So for the ones that feel like they don't want to invest, it's definitely worth the investment because you get to know yourself and you get to learn your body and learn what it's capable of doing. Because the way I was squirting when I was like 23, oh baby, today, oh shit, it, it. When I tell you what I was doing back then, I ain't got shit on what I'm doing now. Like that shit literally come out like a, like it's coming out of a faucet right now because I've learned my body so well. You could do it too, but you need to download my video and use my techniques that actually work, okay? All right, that's gonna wrap me up for today. I wanna give a shout out to Fredrina Spencer, girl. Ain't she love her braids? And I love these, this, these little highlights she put up in there. Thank you, honey bun. You did so good. I right. look, I'm loving it. Okay. Um, I don't think there's nobody else that I need to give no shout out to. Oh yeah, let me shout out my baby Taylor. Taylor, Dillard University, uh, Dean's List, doing great academically. Thank you for all of the people that bought cakes and donated and uh bought stuff for her to go to college. Y'all should doing well. Y'all money ain't it wasn't spent in vain. It was not spent in vain at all. And Madison had an honors program last week. She did excellent. She's on the principal's list for the whole year. So congratulations to my baby Madison too. And Gabby, my oldest daughter, she is in grad school. We are finishing up uh, in at the School of Business at UNO. So I have two of my kids in New Orleans and I have one of them here with me. So I'm super proud of all of my babies. I'm super proud of all of them. Now on to my adoptive children. Marielle on a comedy scene. I'm so proud of her. So, 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 so proud of her. Uh, Ciara with her tax business and her music career. I'm so, so proud of her. Y'all have so many that I done adopted along the way until it's not even funny. But I'm proud of every last one of them that crossed my path and I was able to impact them in a certain type of way and being able to nurture them, love upon them and just show them different things about what it means to be a woman. I'm proud of y'all. I am. Y'all mama proud, baby. I am proud. So, I'm going to wrap this up. All right, YouTube. Y'all be good. Y'all see everything right here. It's on the website. Go online shop, www.dppgstore.com. All April showers kits, the ones that have not been shipped out, will be shipped out on Tuesday. That promotion is coming to an end. Like I said, um, we've done 382. We uh, The goal was 500. So, once we max out with our 500, that's a wrap. April showers will be over with and we'll be on to May, which is Masturbation May. All right, y'all. Be blessed.